It's Tom and Rob, and we're back. We're in the breakfast room, which is right adjacent to the kitchen we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how important it was to have a uniform sound field and not put two speakers in the kitchen and play them loud and let it spill over into this area, right? Because we've got different people doing, playing cards, playing a little gin rummy, doing whatever they're doing. Uh, having a bite to eat, perhaps. Um, we need this room to have its own set of speakers with its own volume control. Mm -hmm. we're, we're never playing ACDC in here and Barry Manilow in the kitchen, right? We're playing Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run, there you go. right? And we've got the volume appropriate for each space. Right. And that is one of the key design flaws that I see in houses is they don't treat the breakfast area as its own space. So they're trying to get the music from They're trying to get the music from over there. Mm -hmm. and, and what that happens is... is I it, can't hear it. You it's don't, too loud. You, you don't have the experience though. Right? It's like coming from mm -hmm. over there. I'm not enveloped in the space. Mm -hmm. Right? And we want you to be enveloped in the space because we want you to have that emotional hook that music can deliver. Right. So that's really important. So when you're playing your space and you have a breakfast room, whatever you want to call it, breakout space, whatever you want to call that room, the breakfast space, right next to the kitchen, you need its own set of speakers. And I think that's one of the things that's hard to relay to you guys out there is that we, Tom, is not just coming in your home to put speakers in so you can have music. It's that Thanksgiving day when your brother, your sister, your whoever it is is like, Oh my God, turn it up, that's the song. Like when you were in high school, some music really right. comes in and connects with you and there's somebody in the room that, I mean, I got the chills thinking about it, man. I've been to yeah. some concerts and my family comes over and it's like, dude, play that, play that song. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the memories, man. I love that. It's the best. Right? It's the best. The emotional content of music mm -hmm. is unbelievable. Yeah. At Bravo, we want to bring that experience into your home. We've written extensively about it on our website in the Knowledge Center, and we're always welcome for you to drop by and talk to us about what your plans are so that we can maximize your experience at home. Thank you very much for watching. Well, you know, I don't oh. mind before I go. Oh. So your design flow that you see a lot is, I've seen it a lot too. They, I'm gonna put some speakers over there, Music's too loud in the kitchen. People can't hear what's going on. And then they sit here and they say, I can't hear it. So you have that right. outdoors. Any room, you want a professional, you want an expert. The, the other design floor I see mm -hmm. in homes with speakers is they'll put the same speaker in every room. Right. You know, they have the same speaker in a kitchen where it's going to be played nice, loud. Yeah. I don't want to say loud, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. They have the same speaker in, in a bathroom. Everywhere. Yeah. You have to pick and choose your rooms and it's your house and where you're gonna entertain. If you right. spend more time in the breakfast nook, then you do the kitchen and you wanna spend a little more money on a speaker in here, but just don't put the same speaker in every room. I mean, right? We ask our clients to grade the rooms A, B, and C. Smart. A, super critical musical performance. Mm -hmm. B is average musical performance. Uh -huh. And C is a space like the laundry room, you know, where we have high ambient, noise right. with the washer and dryer but it's a really boring task so we want some music in there as a background so we use different speakers across all three of those spaces okay. and when you when you work with someone like bravo that has the ability to tap into 80 different brands mm -hmm. we're going to find the solution that's best for you right. and that's what's critical you know when you go to a best buy you know, they know what's in the back room and they're trying to sell that. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything in my back room. I order for each job. So I'm ordering just what you need. Right. No more, no less. Right. And that's what separates a custom guy, you know, away from say Best Buy. That's also what separates the Ducati ride from the merry-go-round, right? <laughs> like you expect to come in here and really dance and move and get that emotional feeling. It's not going to happen from a three, inch speaker, right? Right. I mean, I want to get on the bike and I want, I don't want to put the quarter in it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. Thank you so much for watching. Tom Kern from Bravo AV. Rob from National Smart Home. Visit bravoav.com.
There's an awesome knowledge base on there. I say at the end of the video because it's so important that when you are in the uh, decision mode, that you have somewhere to look and read. And there's no pressure. There's nobody standing over your shoulder. BroadwayDiv.com. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Ciao.